Greetings from Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I hope you are all having a very nice day today. I'd like to talk to you today about a particular item from the Criterion Collection, and this might be relevant for those of you who are still considering getting some items from the Barnes & Noble Criterion Sale, which is going on right now. So now we're around the almost the middle of July 2019, but the Barnes & Noble Sale is still going on. And so hopefully you are taking advantage of it if you can. And if not, hopefully then you'll have some time later this month to take advantage of it. You know, I wish you well, and as always, if you want to share with me what it is you got, I'd love to hear about it. It's always nice to hear about these things because sales are very, uh, a very good time, especially because Criterion items can be very expensive, as, as we all know. But I'd like to share with you just one item that I think is of particular interest uh, to me, and hopefully it might be to you. It's from the Eclipse series. And this is a set that I haven't spoken about yet, but I really want to. This is Eclipse Series 11, and the set is titled simply Larissa Shepichko. So Larissa Shepichko. So Larissa Shepichko is a very important and these are two of her films. Now, unfortunately, her filmography is relatively quite small. She only made a handful of films, two of which are featured in this Eclipse series set, Eclipse series number 11, this DVD set, Larissa Shepichko. Unfortunately, she died quite young, and so it's, uh, she left behind only a handful of her films, but what she left behind, her legacy, her cinematic legacy, and her legacy as an artist is uh, uh, quite a beautiful and haunting, tragic set of films. And as I said, two of those films are included here. So the first being Wings, and the second being The Ascent. Now, Wings is from 1966, and The Ascent is from 1977. So these are, I would say, two films that are maybe similar uh, in some respects, but I would also say they're quite radically different in other respects. They are both quite charged in their own specific ways. They are both potentially quite emotionally moving cinematic watches. I think both have a separate kind of pulse, if you know what I mean. Wings has a very intimate feel to it in that it's a portrayal of this particular woman in a certain part of her life where she is uh, finding that there are some difficulties with respect to how she relates to the younger generation. And also that is uh, set forth against the backdrop of her own life and her youth as a pilot, which is quite different from what she is doing for her life at the moment we see her in the film, which is as a kind of... Uh, principal or headmistress at this particular school. And so we have this portrait of this woman who is essentially struggling with this idea of domesticity and growing old and dealing with changes in one's work life and one's family life and changing dynamics and how to reconcile that with one's past, which is linked not only to this idea of militarism, but also for, more fundamentally for this woman, linked to this idea of freedom and a kind of uh, uh, life without limits, so to speak, which is at least 
from a certain point of view, a far cry from where she is at the start of the film. And so this is Wings in a nutshell, I think. A very intimate, sometimes damning, but always uh, very sensitive and uh, an emotionally charged, very charming and utterly moving portrait. This film by Larissa Shapichko is a delight and it's profound and it is so subtle and nuanced and sublime. This is Wings. This is the first film in this Larissa Shapichko set from 1966. And then there's the second film which is The Ascent from 1977. Now, this is a film that is a kind of wartime film. It is a film that is about battle, is about the stresses and the, uh, the, the risks to life and body with respect to these certain battles and how war takes its toll very dramatically and uh, quite tragically on the lives of these people and how people deal not only with the stresses of war but also with this notion of trust and the breakdown of trust in these uh, times of great strain and pressure that is wartime and we're talking about immense duress under torture and how does one reconcile those sorts of extreme external stimuli which are painful and tortuous and quite devastating. How does one reconcile that with one's inner strength and turmoil, namely the external versus the internal? And what does that result in? And those sorts of moral dilemmas that take place and that arise and how they are treated quite differently depending on your own point of view and where you find yourself both physically and emotionally at a given point in time. This is, I think, at the heart of what I interpret the ascent to be without giving away too much detail. The ascent is one of those great masterworks in world cinema. It is a, a utterly uh, explosive and uh, damning and devastating work of great art and there is so much of uh, moral questioning there is so much uh, betrayal that is this idea of uh, the, the difficulties and the strains and the pressures of the choices that we make and the results of those choices, what it means for other people, and how do we reconcile that with our own fundamental morality? These are difficult questions and the film poses no easy answers and in fact the film poses answers that I think are quite uh, quite deeply troubling and at its core almost earth-shattering. So this is the ascent I think in, a, in sort of a, a distilled form but as made uh, with as broad uh, strokes as possible so as not to spoil too much because this experience should be uh, as unspoiled as possible if you're going into it. So the ascent and the earlier films, Wings. Now these are two films again by this filmmaker, Larissa Shapichko. Incredibly important and I think thanks to this Eclipse set, she, her works anyway, are getting uh, attention. Hopefully uh, this set might be something that you would consider if you are looking for an Eclipse set to purchase during the Barnes & Noble Criterion sale because you're getting two utterly 
sublime masterworks. I guarantee it. You're getting two just completely uh, top-notch, uh, profoundly moving uh, and utterly engrossing works that will just linger long after they are finished and they will be uh, they will leave you with questions that will be difficult to answer which I think is great because that's what great art uh, can do sometimes now I bring this up as well because a very good friend of mine who is an expert in Criterion uh, informed me that this particular Eclipse set as of right now is listed on the Criterion's website as being quote unquote currently unavailable. So currently unavailable. Now the site does not say OOP out of print. It just says currently unavailable. But whatever that means, it means that as of now this set is not available for purchase on Criterion's website. Now I don't know the status of availability on the Barnes & Noble website, but and I don't know what the status of availability is for this particular item on Amazon. Once again, I don't want to, to suggest at all that this is currently out of print. It's not officially out of print, and I don't know what the plans are for this particular set going forward. Who knows? It could be that Criterion will make more pressings of this. If so, that's great. That is great news. But it does mean, however, that as of now, I don't know what the future holds for this particular set. So, if you are looking for a good Eclipse set, and if you happen to come across this at your local Barnes & Noble store, I would suggest just picking it up and uh, just, yeah, just having it. Uh, I think more importantly than anything else, you'll be getting two great films. I promise you, you will get so much out of them. I promise you. So it's not going to be a waste of money uh, if you purchase this, if you find this in a Barnes & Noble store and you purchase it through the sale. I, I guarantee it. It won't be a waste of your money or time. These two films are excellent. They are excellent, excellent, excellent. So uh, I don't have any... Uh, uh, doubt about that. But again, for those of you who are looking for something good on the Eclipse series side, and if you are collecting Eclipse series sets and you don't happen to have this one yet, I would suggest trying to look for it if you can and uh, just keeping an eye open for this particular set. Who knows, maybe it'll come back into availability in the Criterion website. If so, Great, that's wonderful. But just to be on the safe side, just keep an eye out for this in stores. Um, I wouldn't necessarily go out of your way to pay uh, lots and lots of money for it on eBay or anything like that. I don't think we're there quite yet, so just you don't have to worry about that quite yet. But just let's keep an eye out for this. Uh, just uh, if you're looking for it and if you're interested, just uh, uh, see what you can find. And and also. Again, for those of you who are Criterion Channel experts, could you let me know? Could you let us know? Are these films available on the Criterion Channel? If so, then perhaps that might uh, that might slightly diminish the need for getting this now. Uh, if they're available on the Criterion Channel, great. That's great. The most important thing from my point of view is to be able to see these films. Uh, in whatever form is possible and is uh, most comfortable for you. These films, as I say, are so worth watching. They are so worth your time, I guarantee it. And so if they're available on the Criterion channel, that's great. That's really great. So we don't necessarily have to worry, therefore, about this falling, you know, heaven forbid, out of print sometime in the future. But for those of us who are interested in the physical media aspect of the Eclipse series sets and criterion, let's just keep in mind that it is currently listed as currently unavailable. So if you can find it at your local Barnes & Noble store, then I strongly suggest picking it up. Because if anything, you're going to get two absolutely 
fantastic works of art. Larissa Shevichko. This is Eclipse Series number 11, DVD. Okay, my friends, that's it for now. And so until we meet again, please be happy and healthy and well, my dear friends. And also I want to welcome all the new subscribers to this channel. Welcome. It is so nice to meet you. My name is Daisuke, and I look forward to talking with you very soon, I hope. If you want to leave a message or comment, please feel free to leave comments below and on other videos. I'm very happy to, to talk with you uh, about anything you want, uh, within reason, of course. So, uh, But it would be so great to be able to connect with you and to hear about your love of cinema, which is, again, something that we all have in common. So, Okay, my friends, till we meet again, Please be happy and healthy and well. And please, please, please keep on watching a lot of great, great movies. So until we meet again, cheers.